Uh, let's bring you some highlights from the candidate of the ADC. Stay with us. The African Democratic Congress governorship candidate takes a final campaign tour of local government areas in Kogi State, spreading his rescue mission agenda to the people of Yagba East. There he addresses his supporters in his local dialect to drive home his rescue mission message. The elections are about a few days away and the ADC governorship candidate believes his work is largely done and expresses hope that the people's votes will count. President Bola has met Tinubu, we not allow that. You can see now, this is different from 2019. This is 2023. It is not going to be allowed for anybody to go into Togri or using fake police, fake soldier, or even using real soldier against the electorate. Chieftains of the party take to the stage to emphasize why Leke Abajide should be the choice of every concerned Kogi resident to be the next governor. There is no candidate that has taken his message, his product, to the people at the grassroots. This is the first candidate you are seeing doing that. What the other people are doing are sonar rallies and then gather people, hire crowd. You can see what is happening here. It is organic. It is not manufactured. They are not rented crowd. You can't see any buses here convening people to this venue. Yagba people have declared support, full support for Rebule Kabejide because of what he has done to his people. He has done tremendously to emolorot poverty. He has done tremendously to pull people out of the current situation. So the previous election is a litmus test that Yagba is always stand out. If you look at our campaign, it is said that the Sunday that will be good, the impact will be fair right from Saturday. We have started our campaign, and by the special grace of God, we are finishing our campaign tomorrow. And ordinary throw stone, eh, we have not experienced. So the campaign has been wonderful. The campaigns for who becomes the next governor of Kogi State are now winding down. The African Democratic Congress is confident that their candidate is the man to beat in the race for the guard house. Lekia Jide was a serving house, um, or rather, a serving member of the House of Representatives who was elected under the platform of the African Democratic Congress to represent the Yagba Federal Constituency. He was re elected on the 25th of February this year for a second term as federal lawmaker, popular for his empowerment. Uh, Mr. Abejide he is running for the Kogi State Governorship seat under the platform of the ADC, where he won his two previous elections. He joins me live in the studio. Thank you for joining us on Beyond 100 Days. Thank you for having me, and good evening, Nigerians. Absolutely. So you're a member of the 9th Assembly, and now a member of the 10th National Assembly. You know, some analysts say you should have continued with your job by the House of Representatives rather than contesting for governor. How do you react to that sentiment? Yes, I should have continued, and I'd love to continue. But the capacity to carry the responsibility of the whole state is not there. Mm. When people will run to me from other federal constituencies, that I should please extend my largesse to them. Where is the resources to do that? I can only do for my federal constituency and possibly the next federal constituency to me, which is still my ethnic um, mm. uh, group. So Th you thought is, uh, to reach out to the, more people, you should be governor? Come again? You thought to reach out to more people, you should be governor? Yes, because people from local there will come. Though it's part of my central right district, but not under my federal constituency. People beyond local there will come, looking at the kind of empowerment I'm doing for people, the kind of you know, uh, developmental stride in my federal constituency. And they wanted to replicate it across the states. Did you know that you were but going I'm to... But I'm not covering the whole state, but as a governor, yes. I would be able to do that. Did you know you were going to run for governor before running for the House of Reps this year? It wasn't in my plan to run for the governor because I just won my second term and my plan was to sit down to relax and rest. You see, I have not rested now since February. I've been contesting this from one place or another. So... When we notice that the current governor 
whom we believe will have solved the problem of rotation of power in the state. Mm. We will not give ticket to anybody from Kogi West. That was why the, my people asked me to get set and then contest for this seat because under natural justice, Kogi East Central District had it for 19 years. The Central, we were together in Kwara State, the current Central where we call the five local government, the Iwera. We came together from Kwara State. When we were in Kwara State, they were governor under Adamata. And now when we came here, they are governor now for eight years, making 12 years. We'll talk about the zoning later. So, uh, but <laughs> now, yes. I just want to follow up. you asking me that uh, well, uh, whether I, pre I got prepared before yes. when I was prepared for that. No, it wasn't like that. My aim was to focus on my house of rep. So I just you are representing Yamba. Thinking that at least yes. this time that mm. power has rotated, God just did it for us. God, I believe we give it to somebody in the West. That was all our thinking. But we are not slaves in our own states. Mm. You represent Yagba East, right? Yagba East, Yagba West, mm. Mopamuro, Federal Constituency, three local government. So who provides that legislative oversight while you are running for governor? Because you can't tell me you're doing both together. Yes, I still do both together. I still go to office. I was in the chamber in the last, uh, I was in the city last week, Thursday. Mm. I was there. So it doesn't matter. So I'm elected, I'm not an appointed uh, uh, government official. What about the chances of your party? Because ADC won two rep seat, uh, one state assembly seat in 2023 election. That's just about three. How can that translate to victory in the governorship election? Well, which is across board. You have said good thing. That's to tell you that ADC is strong in Kogi West. By, ha Central. by having won three seats? By having, yes. By, by winning two federal consensus out of three, we won two. And even the other, the third one, we didn't feed any candidates. Mm. Because the candidate of the PDP then also let, was in APC, uh, ADC before. So I said, okay, for us not to rob both, let's allow him. So it was only two federal consensus we feed the candidate we won. Then... I believe one of them has decamped to the APC now. Nobody has decamped to an APC. You can't decamp as a legislator. The day you decamp, the day you lose your seat, that's the law. Okay. No. Let them, let them, somebody try it. And then we see whether it will be there again. Well, your party has one seat in the state assembly. Yes. All right. Then, what you ask me whether, how can it translate to, you know, be victory on the state victory level? Victory for the states. Uh, well, you see now, even when I was campaigning in Kogi East, I didn't know people know me like that. You see, good thing doesn't hide. People don't look at party anymore. They look at the personality involved behind. I see why you won this last election, not on basis of party. It were to be party, they made it impossible for him not to win because the same party caused the problem of no fuel, no, no naira, nothing. They created a problem for him. But because of his personality, his antecedents, and the kind of people he has groomed, like me, I'm one of them. I was telling him, I said, even though there's no fuel, they drink it on. He won based on his own popularity, not based on party. And many of us who won the election, even my own election, in the first time, nobody knows the party. They will say, where is Lakey's party? That is what they will be asking. Then this one is not going to be too much. There's not going to be different. What we are doing is like coalition of parties. I have a lot of people in APC. I have a lot of APC extraction. I was there before. My people are still there. They are there to support So me. you are still APC in spirit? Spirit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are still there. So it's always most there. of my leaders are there. Yes, I can say it. They are there. So... And I have a lot of followers there. I can say this. And they love me, and I love them. I didn't leave there one day. I carried them along in all my programs. And that's why you see my election is difficult for anybody to unseat me. Because they don't do party when it comes to my own election. You will see the result we show this one. So, on a free and fair election. So, yeah. apart from the, you know, rhetorics of no one from Kogi West has ever been governor, 
uh, what is Leke Abejide doing differently or promising to do differently? What are you bringing to the table if you're elected governor of Kogi State? What I'm bringing to the table is exactly what I'm doing in my federal constituency. I started with education. I declared it free. For the past six years, I'm the one paying white fees for my federal constituency. I even extended it to the next federal constituency to me. And that's why you see my candidate there was able to win. Then I look at the rural roads. Uh, the before you go to the roads, you are aware that the state governor has decided to pay the white fees this time. I mean, he, he had marked about 497 million there. How is that affecting what seems your selling point in that regard with your customers? No, it's not my selling point. See, I have been telling them more than four years ago that they should be paying that other states are paying. That these resources I'm using to pay white as well as to use it for something else. Yeah. As well as to groom the youth and empower the women. Now, if they pay truly, they only pay one aspect. Me, I pay for both public and private. I don't pay for only public. The private are crying now. In the first year that I paid, I did public, but I not, not, they came to me and said, this private, private is just a name more, that most of them cannot afford to pay the wife. And truly, they could not pay. In a class of 100, maybe only 10, 12 will pay. So that's why I combined the private schools and pay. Now he didn't pay for the private school, I will pay. So he has taken the burden of the public school away from you, and you're happy about that? Yeah, yes. very happy. If we can even pay all, it will be good for me, because I'll be able to use the money. If you look at the youth, they're almost going vagabonds, because there's no job they are doing. Every day they wake up, nothing in their hands. They don't do that. I do. So why do you so pay? if I use the money yes. now to develop the youth, there will be less crimes. In the society. Why do you pay for YAC fees? Is it is this politics? Or I've been paying before I even came to politics. I have not spent six years, six years in National Assembly. What inspires you to do that? Yes, because people always come to disturb me and ask for help. Always, time to time. So, and I, it now becomes so difficult for me to pay for my community alone. I say, how will I do it? So let me take it off myself. How do you me, intend me to resolve the problem? Because apparently there's a poverty challenge here. People keep coming to you to ask for funds to, you know, finance education. How yeah, do you think you can resolve? You can resolve that matter or that issue as governor of Kogi State. As governor of Kogi State, you see, it, it, it is the system that brought the the, the poverty, to the state. You know that poverty everywhere, but that of Kogi is extraordinary. You see, if the local government system is functioning well, the money given to them, they are getting it. The people working at the local level, they receive full salary. The poverty level will reduce. Then, I, I came from private sector background. I didn't start as a public sector person. I started from a private background. I believe in you know, PPP. Enlarge the, 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 the space for people to be able to get something doing. And again, we have arable land that we can use to employ these youths where they can make money. You know, as I told you, I was one time one of the biggest exporters of sesame seed in this country. So, and this thing comes from the farm. Before I came to government, I was very big in it. So, I see that. My own soil. You stop doing that because no, the company is still functioning. But I cannot be the managing director anymore. So the managing director, I resigned and somebody took it over and is doing it. And I'm just chairman right. of the company. So, you know, you've talked about the clamor for power shift, particularly within the Kogi West. But um, there is Senator Dino Melaye of the PDP. There is Olai in Cabraimo, I think, of the Action Alliance. And then there is you know, Leke, uh, Leke Leke of, Leke. Um, the ADC. What are your chances, you know, what, what are the chances of the zone in this election if you divide the vote among these three candidates? Um, well, in an election, 
even during my own as House of Rep, we had so many candidates in all the parties. But I won. Even my results, when you combine APC and PDP results together, it's not up to half of my votes. Definitely, yes, they will take some votes out of me. But definitely, you know, I'm the consensus candidate for the Kogiwes governorship election by the Edda's Forum. Were there, were there active plans to form an alliance between the three of you? To be able to, you know, present a united I don't a think there's any front. alliance that can be formed now. It's already late. But we can talk to one another and find the common ground to work together. But in terms of votes, I will get the majority vote in that side. And not only that side. Even in Kogi East, I'm sure, I'm sure of some local government that I can win. You know the number of candidates contesting this election from Kogi East? There are about nine. There are many. I Our own is even fair. <laughs> so the thing is, they have the majority numbers in terms of population, and we are second to them. Mm. And I believe even some of them reason that let the power shift to west. During my campaign, I had it from so many big wigs there that let it, see, for fairness, equity, and justice, mm. we have served our brothers in Kogi East. And if we want this power to shift and the rotation to continue, I want to appeal using this medium to them, to appeal to them that they should please support us this time so that we can get this. Are you aware that the PDP uh, the recently announced its alliance with the Labour Party in this election? And the PDP candidate is from Kogi West. Is that something that bothers you? Fake news. PDP we came, I mean, Labour Party came out and said <laughs> there was nothing like that. Dino Melai tweeted it himself. Are you saying he's lying? Is he a Labour Party person? Is he not PDP? I said Labour Party came to denounce that and say it's not correct. Mm. That is not true. See, Labour Party has approached me. We have been discussing. Even the candidates, we know they are polarized, so they are divided. They have two, two factions. So both factions approached me and they say they see me as a celebrity candidate because I have something I can put to us. Oh, you have done this, you have done that. You see, uh, as the House of Rep member, what I've done in terms of physical infrastructure, even the governor of the state cannot boast of it. And that is what people see in me. And they start coming and say, we can sell you to our people using all these things you have done. Mm. So there are a lot of um, calculations engaged about, you know, in politics when it comes to winning elections. If you look at the figures in February, if you add that of the PDP and the Labour Party together, it's a completely different ball game, you know, how that election could have gone. You, you are talking about, presidential. talking about the presidential election. Okay. So there are some who have said that, you know, the chances are bright if some of the candidates in Kogi State decide to work together we are discussing, to win this we, election. We are discussing that. You see, Mori, he just left here now. Mori Ajaka. Mori Ajaka is very close to me. We have been discussing. We still discuss. So Even tonight, tonight, yes. we are still going to meet. Even tonight, we are still going to meet and discuss. So that's we have been talking. Are you saying there's a possibility of you working with Ajaka? Yes, there's a possibility for us to work together. How when we that? see and look at what is going to happen and see that maybe we will not be able to put through, we can pull our things together and then we go and take it to power first. Mm. Take it first. So that we we'll now rearrange the states. So because if we don't do that, I want to tell you, I'm not exaggerating. A lot of people will die. Not in terms of maybe gunshots or what. In terms of hunger. The current candidate of APC in the state. APC is not the problem. It is the person that is using the APC. Say, president is APC. Is he not doing well? He's doing well. Governor Sanwolu is not an APC governor. He's doing well. Governor that we are doing is he not an APC governor? Is he not doing well? It's so well. So we know them, and from governors here in the north, oh IPC, doing well in the respective states. It's just the man that is on the driver's seat that is the problem. All right, let us and, let us talk about the issues and leave the man because I've heard a lot about you know name calling on the show today and. Uh, <laughs> 
I, I think I've had enough. No, what, what I'm but, trying to tell yes. you is this. What I'm trying to mm. tell you is I said the candidate of the APC was the architect of percentage payment for local government workers in the states. See, you are a journalist. Please do your investigative journalism very well. You will, I don't need to tell you level 17 officer will take 20,000. Maybe higher is 30,000. He has family, he has wife, he has children to go are in school, some in higher institution, some in secondary school. So how are they going to survive? So the person in charge of that, then you now say, come and take over the states. Well, we are waiting, Saturday is here, and all the plans among air that they will you know, bring out talks, book all the hotels, want to you know, put talks inside. Let us leave here for a while, because we can't confirm I've that. I've written really. a petition. But did I hear you clearly earlier uh, that um, you are to willing... To NSA and IDP on okay. this. It's all right, fantastic. That's what I'm saying, that it's okay that we direct all these concerns to security But it's good for agencies. the public to know. Because you can confirm it. That's the... That's the that's, I have the that's evidence. The yes, so this is not the place to share the evidence. Okay. Consider the impact on, you know, the security situation ahead of the election. You want the poll to be peaceful, right? Yes. So address it to the police who has the capacity to fix it, not the people. So that we don't, you know, instill fear in them and then find no, out that there's no terror the government party. is doing well. All right, but did no, I hear you clearly? Of the of the did security. I hear you clearly that that you are willing to shelf your ambition to be governor in Kogi is by working? Did I hear you clearly say that you are willing to shelf your ambition no, I didn't say I'm to willing. work with another person? I didn't, I didn't say I'm willing. But you said that there's possibility of you working. Yeah, there's a the possibility of working together. And when you look at it on the normal moral ground, it's the West. Okay. That's supposed to benefit from the alliance. So if it doesn't favor the West, you're not going to be a part of the alliance. It's going to favor the West. I trust them. The people okay. in of Kogi are very reasonable people. Mm. They are very reasonable. Even we are people are very reasonable. Do you know my director general, Honorable Abaka Adago, hmm? mm. Subaru, is from Okehi local government. They are saying. It is the turn of the West. Initially, when I was tell, talking to one of our senior brother, who is in the House of Rep, he said, no, it cannot come out. It cannot I hear you. Out. But they are all with me. Walking. We, we have to go now. One minute. Why should people of Kogi State vote for you come Saturday? They should vote for me because of my competence, which they have seen in my legislative office because of my capacity which I have displayed in my federal constituency and even beyond because of my character you have seen All it right. I behave in a way that a reasonable woman being have you ever seen me insulting my elders have you ever seen me behaving funny since I'm in the house of representatives I came first time I was chairman custom in my first time in night assembly and my record is there. I reformed custom with my bill. I did the repeal of custom and resource management act and reenactment of Nigeria Custom Service Act 2023, which the president signed. All so right. I'm a very diligent person, very meticulous, All right. very calculated. All right. And, and some would say that, you know, for you, it's a very easy call. If you don't win this election, you'll just return to the Great Chamber. I will win. Absolutely. You will congratulate me. Very clear. And you promised that you will grant us some exclusive interviews if you become governor so that we can track your accountability in government. Yes, I will, be, I will do that. We're looking forward to that. Wish you all the best. Lekia Abijide is a current member of the House of Representatives and is the governorship candidate of the ADC in Saturday's uh, governorship election in Kogi State. That's